Good Friday morning. I'm Mark Austin and here are some of your top local stories. One man is in critical condition after an early morning shooting just outside a San Antonio hotel. Good morning, I'm Max Massey. Investigators working to figure out what led up to this gunfire and who pulled the trigger. Now this was the scene just outside the Quality Suites around 12:30 this morning in the 3600 block of Southeast Military. We can see at least seven evidence markers outside the hotel. Police telling us the man was parked in front of the hotel side by side with another white Crown Victoria. Witnesses say that Crown Vic drove off after gunshots were fired and it appears a hotel worker found the man shot in the parking lot and called 911. Right now we know that man was transported to the hospital and at last check is in critical condition with multiple gunshot wounds. We do expect to hear more information throughout the day. Reporting downtown, Max Massey, KSAT 12 News. New this morning, one man is behind bars after surrendering to Cibolo police late last night following an all day standoff. Police say 34 year old Eben Robert Ford peacefully surrendered after they were initially called out to the 200 block of Willow Blood yesterday afternoon. The caller asked for assistance back into the home after it was locked from the inside by someone else. While an officer was assisting the caller to make entry, Ford allegedly fired a single shot toward the officer. Face the charges of attempted capital murder, more charges may be pending. We're still waiting to learn the name of a teenager shot and killed in far west Bear County. Officials have released the name of the suspected gunman. They say David Rodriguez Jr. has been arrested on manslaughter, second degree felony charges. It was happened at a home in the 11,500 block of Sangria where a teenage boy was found dead from his wounds. Investigators have not revealed anything about how that shooting happened. A San Antonio police officer was taken to the hospital overnight after running into the side of an 18 wheeler. Police said their fellow officer traveling south on AT&T Center Parkway when he ran into the side of the rig. He was taken to SAMHSA with minor injuries and a possibly dislocated shoulder, but is expected to be OK. No other injuries were reported. And for the very latest on coronavirus, anytime you need it, please go to our website at KSAT.com. Be safe and have a great weekend.